welcome to our demo today. Uh, we're going to be taking a high level through the uh, XB Discovery platform. What you're seeing on my screen now is when you do sign in, we're actually on the home screen. LexB is 100% web-based. What that means for you is there's no upkeep of hardware or software, and we're platform agnostic. That means you could be a Mac person, a PC person. I'll use a Surface when I travel. I've got clients that will use an iPad or in a pinch, you can always use a phone. As long as you have an internet connection, you can get to your data from anywhere in the world. Lexby is uh, 17 years old. We were started as a web-based do-it-yourself program. Wanted to give attorneys an affordable uh, alternative um, and something that was easy to use. Anything I do in a demo, you will be able to do in the platform. We'll start here at home and we're gonna move left to right across the product cases. We'll add documents. Analysis is reporting. Search and browse. This is gonna be where you move through your data. Sort, filter, search. And then finally, discovery um, will be where you get an output or a production. We are on Frank's demo case. This is the last matter I was in before I when this morning when I signed out. We bring you back to that matter so that is usually the most important. If you have multiple matters in the system, you can go ahead, hit switch cases, and return to the matter of your choice. Uh, we'll go ahead now and start at cases, and we will go to add case documents. This is our batch screen. Uh, this will tell me how many batches I have in the platform, 644 for this matter. I can see the name, the date, the time, who loaded it, was it assigned to custodian, and any source information. Just hit new upload. Fit in a few quick questions. Uh, batch title, was it assigned to a custodian now? You can always do it later any document source information and finally any comments you want to leave so that when you come in three months, six months, a year down the road, you know what's in that batch. Next step, we're going to hit next and move to our load area. This is as simple as drag and drop. You can load PSTs, you can load zip files, single folders, uh, single files, or drill down, click on a document, folder, file, and hit open. This will go ahead and push the data to our servers which are at the Amazon Web Services facility. Uh, right outside DC, it is fed ramp, so very secure. Once that data does get there, we go ahead and we will process that data. We do OCR it from all documents up front so that we can turn as much searchable text back to you as soon as possible. Once you've loaded that data, you can go ahead and you can stop on analysis if you'd like. This is your reporting area. Um, you don't have to stop here. One thing I will show today, and there's a lot of good features in this section. We'd love to give you a deep dive demo if you have time. But the one thing I do want to point out is the auto redaction. Uh, this is something that clients use all the time. This gives you the ability to use preset auto redaction profiles. You have social security number, driver's license, VIN number, dates, and you can also use free text. And what this is going to do is once you put those, pick a preset or put a name in, it's going to search your documents. You can see here we found seven documents, and on those seven documents, we had a total of 53 social security numbers that it did redact. Again, Lexby's goal is to save you time and move you through the platform as quick as and efficiently as possible. Once you've done your auto redaction or your search term report, you can go ahead now and you're ready to move on into browser search. I will go ahead and start a browse for you. And if what you'll see in the center here, this is your document window. It shows me all 41,964 documents. You can see the fields across the top. You can choose as many or as few fields as you'd like, depending on the information you want to display here. I can move these fields to any order, depending on which I prefer to have on the left, see closest to me, or out on the right. A couple other things I can do. If I'm interested in the families and I've been sorting, I can go ahead and click on the paperclip. It will show me the families in order. Orange number is a parent. Underneath, you will see the children. Other ways to interact with the data in the center is here on your left bar. If you do have a lot of data and you've got long titles, you can always hide that sidebar and move through your documents like this or leave the sidebar and it allows me to sort, filter. A couple ways to filter, you've got a simple or single field filter and you have an advanced filter. The advanced filter I like just because you can now string multiple fields together. And at any point in this filter, you can be inclusive or exclusive. And that's gonna help you trim down this data set and the documents you need to move through. 
you have the ability to select your fields. Like I said, you could have as many metadata fields as you'd like by clicking on that field. You can order here. You can delete from here too if you would like to. You can also use fields that you've created. So as I scroll down, you'll see there's every metadata field. And when we get down here to gold, these are fields that I've created. You can have as many as you'd like, and you could put them across the top if you'd like also. As I continue to scroll down, we have the ability to multi-doc edit. As if you know you've got a field that needs to be changed um, across multiple docs, this will allow you to do that. An export here, we call a briefcase. This is not a production, but it will allow you to get documents out of the system to share with people who don't have access to your Lexby account. And then you've got your production, your review sets, and if you have permissions, you can delete documents. If I go to search, the only difference in search that you'll see is there are no more documents in the center. My fields are the same. I have my keyword search bar here and I can put keywords in. And the thing I like about searching versus browsing is keywords act more like a scalpel. So you're, you're getting in and you can see we've reduced 41,000 docs to 163. And at that point, the sidebar here on the left is the same. So I can take that 163, I can filter it, I can change my fields, I can sort. I can multi docket it. So everything's the same, except I'm, by using these keywords, I can go ahead and reduce that 41,000 a lot quicker. Coming back to browse. Uh, next step, once you've filtered, once you've sorted, you're actually ready to dive into review. The good thing about being web-based, one, everybody is comfortable uh, nowadays in a browser. So when I select a document, you can see a tab opens. Um, this is my review panel. If I've got multiple monitors, I can go ahead and pull that tab and I can truly multitask in Lexby. So I can have as many monitors open or up with, with tabs on each one if I'd like to. And that'll allow me to review on one screen, keep my uh, reports up on another, um, keep my document list up on another, or if I have one screen, I can continue to bounce between tabs. So what we see here on the left are the versions of the document we give you to work with. So the main versions are gonna be text. We do OCR, so you'll get the PDF get the HTML, and then the original. Uh, I do like the original because when I click on this, you'll notice there's going to be a little uh, dial that spins. What that did was, and it, this, is a, this is a Word doc, so it's not going to do much more than what the PDF did, but what it does is it makes a near native of the document, and that allows you to work with Excels unflattened. So I don't have to go down into the download and pull the native out. Um, I get a near native and I can see the formulas inside those cells. So the original is going to be good for Excel, PowerPoints, things like that, uh, documents that will be flattened when you do OCR. All redactions are handled in platform. You can see here, we do have auto redactions. So if you look at these redactions here and they had an A next to them, that means the computer did them. And M means that I actually came in and manually redacted these. As simple as that, I can put text in, I can change the color. Annotations are treated the same way. Um, you can come in and you can add text. You can change the color if there are multiple people working in the platform on this document. And again, it's as simple as drag and there's your annotation spot. Once you choose the document you want to work off of, most people will do a PDF or text. Then you work with that document here on the right. Discovery and related, these are going to be the two tabs of the the majority of people will spend their time on. Uh, discovery is where you tag. Uh, you've got hard-coded tags here. They are in the system, can't be deleted, cannot be changed, moved. I and mean, that's because not only are they used in most of your matters, but they do elicit a response from the back end. So when you start using their tags, one, they are tracked. So you can see who's doing what, when they did it, and what they actually did when it comes to these tags. And also, it's gonna if I tag this document as needs further review, when I go to produce, it will go ahead and pull the document and say, hey, time out before you produce. You've got to do something with this document. And that's likewise with the attorney-client privilege. When I go to produce, it's actually going to pull that document and keep it from being produced, but it's going to also start building out my priv log. So that, that's why these are here. When they get used, they do elicit a response from the back end. Of course, we're going to grab your metadata. If it's on the documents, we will place it here. AI Insights, that's an area that is there for you to use. It's just different tools Lexby has to help make your review uh, that much easier. 
And then below are the tags I talk about. You can have as many tags in the system as you'd like. You can have two types of tags. You could have a checkbox or a text field. And you could tag this document as many ways as you want. And you can pull and sort each one of those tags. We want to make it simple. We want to keep you in review. We realize that review is a means to an end. We want to get the attorneys and the, and the paralegals doing what is most important. That's litigating, working out a matter. So if you need to add new fields, we want to keep things together. You can go ahead and add new tags, right? As simple as the plus button or selecting a section you want to add to and then build it out like that. Uh, again, keeping you in review so you don't have to go between tabs back and forth. Uh, there is doc, uh, document, uh, you would look here to find that tracking we talked about, date, time, who did it, and what they actually did. Notes, one of my favorite features, uh, facts and issues. This is our timelining section. In this, in this little overview, we don't have enough time to go into it, but this is a very powerful tool. It's a great way to make exhibits, and we would love to deep dive with you in it. Related. Like I said, discovery and related are going to be the two tabs that most people use. Related is all your family information. Here's my parent, my child. I am actually on the child doc. You can see that it's highlighted. Email threading will show up here. We have a very powerful email threading tool. Exact dupes you will not see. What we do is we are gigabyte based when it comes to pricing. So what we do is on ingestion, we will tag and suppress your dupes. Uh, I tell most of my clients that there's no reason to pay for five or six copies of the same document. Go ahead and delete them out if you don't need them. But what you do want is you want the near duplicates, okay? A near duplicate is going to be an iteration of the prime document on the left. So, example, if this is a signed contract, this will be that contract unsigned. This should be that contract unsigned, possibly writing in the margin. So, well, you don't want exact dupes, near dupes will show you the iterations, how you got to the prime doc on the left. Again, related, discovery, you'll spend most of your time there. Once I've done my review, tag my documents, I'm ready to go and produce. So I will leave this window. I'll come into discovery. Go to production job. Everything in Lexby, if you're going to add, it's going to be a plus. Once I click plus, it's going to bring up a little area here. Now, we can do rolling production, so you will see it does remember Bates numbers here. I click, click create a new production. Give it a good title. Remember, in Lexby, please title well so that you know what you're coming back to when it's done. If I'm going to share this, via link versus putting it on a hard drive, I can select this, password protected, expiration dated, and then move on to my base information. We offer you to, the production to choose would be a standard or a standard plus TIFF. The difference is standard is only a PDF. Standard plus TIFF is going to give you that image file. So if you need the image, go ahead and hit standard plus TIFF. The reason why we broke them out is most people will, will just use a PDF nowadays. Uh, TIFF take up a lot of space. They take a little bit more time to generate. And when you're talking, moving you in and out of review as quick as possible, that every little second counts. So um, once you do that, you can go back and you can get your documents, right? You've set those aside. We'll come in here. We'll go and we'll pull the documents that we selected. Once you pull the documents you've selected, then it's, you're going to go ahead and you're going to select how many of those you want to produce. We'll take the whole page. We've grabbed 25 documents. We slide down to... Add to a production job, you will find the date that you're looking for, 3-8-2023, 25 documents we want to add. And then we come back into discovery. Now, we will, we've got a great team of professional services team members. They will do a production for you if you ask them to. If you do it yourself, you can see here, 3 8 2023 I've got my 25 docs, but it says validate. It doesn't say run. When I click on validate, it's going to do a quick QA for me. This is where if I had left a document with need further review, it shows up here. If I break an email family, it will show up here. And once it gets to finish, everything's been checked off. I'm ready to produce these documents. Click finish, and you see we've changed to run. Once I run this production, I get a nice little zip file. It's going to contain... My load files, this is for use in Lexby later, or if you're loading into, if opposing loads into their own review platform. We've got our originals, our PDFs, our text. If I did choose images, that would show up here in another folder. I can send that on a hard drive, or I can send that uh, via a link. That is the Lexby platform. We have management, account, and admin to go through. We'll do that on another video. If you do have questions or would like to see more from Lexby, 
I believe there will be a link underneath this video you can hit to fill, ask for a demo, and we would be happy to do that for you. Thank you again for joining us. We hope to hear from you soon.